Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today is my first update for my Pandit palette for 2021, which is my Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I would say let's hop straight into my update. You may be able to see that I cleaned my palette. It was a bit dusty in my last video, so I wanted to clean it for this video. And I just used a cotton round and some micellar water and the dust went away pretty well, but the only thing that I couldn't get clean is this spot here where I have a little drop of foundation there. So I tried to really get in there and get the foundation out of it, but it just stays there. So yeah, that's what my palette is looking like at the moment. It's on my vanity all the time so that I can reach into it every day if I want to. So that's why it's a bit exposed to foundations and powders and everything. So I think that my goal in the intro was to hit pan in all the shades during this year and then when I have hit pan in all of them, I decide if I want to finish some shades or all of the shades in here and I think I can already say that I want to finish all of the eyeshadow in this palette now. So let's take a look inside. So this is what my palette is looking like at the moment and as you can see I've hit so many pans in this palette. It's I know it's unbelievable for me. I think it's exactly one month now that I started this project and I have already had a lot of usage in this palette. So it's not that I started working on these shadows one month ago. I have used it for over a year, one and a half years. I think I have it now in my collection. I used it a ton. So, so I had a lot of pretty good dips in a lot of the shimmer shades here already. So it really didn't take me long to hit pan in those. So that's also the reason why I have pretty large pans already because I was so close on hitting pan in a lot of them. So it took me only, I think, three to four uses in those three shades here. And then I hit pan. And so then I could also expand the pan quite a lot. So I think the most surprising one for me was drama. I really wasn't sure to hit pan in it so fast. But I use it as an eyeliner quite a lot and I love it as an eyeliner shade. So I just use an angled eyeliner brush and I wet it with some setting spray and then I take this eyeshadow and then it kind of becomes like a cream eyeshadow. And it's this beautiful, very blackened, plummy purple shade. And it's beautiful as an eyeliner and it gets a bit darker when you wet it. So that's perfect. So that's how I can use up a lot of product at one time. And that's pretty good for using up darker eyeshadows because I don't know how I could use up a dark shade like this if I wouldn't use it as an eyeliner as well as for deepening up the outer corner or for using them as like a smoky eye but I don't do dark smoky eyes like this shade here a lot so it's easy for me to use it as an eyeliner and that's what I, what I love it for now I think maybe we talk about each individual shade now so let's start with creamer this is so easy to use for me. I just use it for my inner corner, for the inner part of my lid or for my brow bone as a highlight. So it's a very light golden champagne color. It's more of a shimmer for me. It's not very metallic. So this one here, I could really expand the pan in it and I could also hit side pan here on the top, which is quite exciting for me because it's the first one where I could hit side pan. So my goal for this shade is to maybe use up half of what's left in the pan now. And I think this one here will be the first one that will be gone totally. Then Summer is one of the shades that I thought would be a bit harder for me to use. So that's why I tried to focus on it in the first month. And I really found a way in which I love using it. And that is using it in my crease. And I know it sounds a bit, I don't know, strange, but I love using those two shimmers here in my crease and also celestial and rose gold are beautiful for crease shades although rose gold has a very dark base to it so it's better for the outer corner than for the actual crease but summer and dazzling are so beautiful and i know it kind of works for me because all the shimmers in here have kind of a darker base to them only dream and wild child are as light and bright as you can see them in the pan but the other ones all show up a bit darker than you can see it in here so they have kind of a base pigment to them that is very beautiful for buffing it into the crease. And then you're just left with a bit of shimmer and it looks so beautiful. 
So I really love using them as crease shades and I think that's why I could use up so much already because when I use them in my crease I use a lot more product as if I would only apply them to my mobile lid or something like that. So both of them kind of serve the same purpose. So um, I love using both of them in my crease and also my lower lash line. I used both of them a ton on my lower lash line. Especially Dazzling is so beautiful for the lower lash line. I wanted to use it all the time and I think I have used it maybe with 80% of the eye makeup looks that I did in the last month. So I will continue to use both of them in my crease and on my lower lash line and I think I can use both of them up during this year. Then the next one is Wild Child. It's the light pinky to golden shifting shade and I think this will be the next one that maybe can be gone after Dreamer. And I'm working on hitting side pan here in the top as well as in Dreamer. So there is only a little product left there in the top here. So I want to hit side pan until the next update. And I think this is pretty easy possible for me because this is such an easy shade. I can just throw it onto my mobile lid and I'm done. Or I just apply it all over my lid or maybe also in the crease, especially in the more towards the inner corner. I love to wearing this one also in my crease. It's, I don't know, it has a beautiful shift to it and I really like it. Then Rose Gold is one of my favorite shades in this palette. I've just started using it at the end of this month, so there's not that much usage in it, but I could hit pan in it and I was pretty surprised with that because I really wasn't working on it like I was on the other two. But it felt very naturally to hitting pen in this one here. I love it for applying it in my outer corner because it has this very blackened base to it. So when it shifts, you can see almost like a black or deep plummy base. And then it shifts to this beautiful rose gold. So it's a very versatile shade and I love the shift of it. And I think it's so beautiful for deepening up other looks. So it's a beautiful shadow and I love this one. I really want to expand the pen until the next update and I think it will be possible. Then the next one is Celestial and as you can see I have so much pen in it already. I have hit pen in it very fast. I think it was like two uses and then I could hit pen in it. I was already so low on this, on this pen and so it was very easy to hit pen. I love using it in my crease and also on my outer corner or I just top it over everything and I think it adds so, I don't know, it adds such a beautiful soft purple sheen to every look that I want to create. So it's a beautiful, very versatile shadow for me. So I really, really enjoy this one and it would be great to hit side pan in it. Maybe here on the left side, we will see for now. I think I have so much progress in it, which is amazing. And I'm very sure that I can use this one up completely. Then Dazzling, I've talked about it before with Thumma. It kind of serves the same purpose. So I just use it in my crease and on my lower lash line and I'm sure that I can use it up during this year. Then Drama I use for eyeliner and for deepening up the outer corner and sometimes for, for smoky eyes as kind of a base to the whole lid and then I top it off with something that is a bit more sparkly. So I love it for that. It has a lot of fallout though and it's a bit, I don't know, Sometimes I just don't want to mess around with it, but if I have the time, I really enjoy this color and this shade. I just don't like the fallout, but it's okay to work with it. It just takes me a bit longer to use this one up, I think. Then base is another one that I'm sure that I can use up. I just wanted to hit pen in another matte cream eyeshadow this month and I could do it. So I just didn't use this one as much as I could have. But I think I want to really focus on it in the next month and I want to hit side pen also in the top here and I could expand the pen quite a lot so I think this one will be an easy one to use up. Then I really didn't focus on the mattes a lot. The pen and love came very naturally. I didn't work on it. It just, I don't know, I think I only had to use it two or three times and then I hit the pen. So this one I've used so much before I started this project. So it was quite, quite low down already. So I only ended up using, I think twice because I really love this eyeshadow and I wanted to work on the more, I don't know, on the shades that are maybe a bit harder for me to use. 
So I just wanted to get a lot of progress in the top row in the last months and I really didn't focus on the mat. So I didn't force myself to use sole, but the two types that I used it, I loved it. I love this one so much. It looks a bit, I don't know, it looks way brighter in the pan than it appears on my skin. It's way darker when I apply it. So it's great for my outer corner and I prefer using it on my outer corner and on my lower lash and then I prefer to use it in my crease. Because sometimes, I don't know, it doesn't look that good in my crease, but I love it on my outer corner. And I especially love to pair it with those more warmer golds and also with Dreamer and with Dazzling. I think that's one, I don't know, I think that's that's kind of my favorite way of using this eyeshadow is to get it with the warm tones and the warm shimmer tones in here. Because it kind of contrasts this, this cool blue periwinkle shade so beautifully. And I just love, love, love the combination of blue and gold in general. Then Incense was quite an interesting shade for me because this is kind of a basic warm tone transition shade. And for me, that's not a shade that I love to use, but I started using it as a bronzer and it looks beautifully as a bronzer. It's kind of my perfect bronzer shade. I really didn't know that before I started this project because one day I just wanted to play with this palette and I thought why not create kind of a I don't know like a face palette with this here and I used love as a blush incense as a bronzer dreamer as a highlighter and then I think I also used wild child on my cheek as a blush topper and I don't know those two were a bit too intense for me. Love was way too pigmented and didn't work as a blush, but Incense looked lovely as a bronzer and ever since I used Incense as a bronzer. So I haven't really worn it as an eyeshadow in this month, but I wore it as a bronzer multiple times. Then Love is a beautiful pinky, warm pinky transition shade for me and I love pairing it with Passion. I love the combination of those two. I just apply this one to my crease and then this one in my outer corner and then I pop this one on my lid and I'm done. So this is one of my easiest looks that I love to wear with this palette and I do it very often. So this was how I could hit pan in this one so easily in this month. Then the next one here is Volatile and this is my perfect cool tone transition shade. And because it's a bit on the darker side, so this is actually a bit too dark for me as a transition color, but I love the darkness of it for like a one and done eyeshadow look because it's dark enough from the outer corner and I can sheer it out in my crease so that it's not too dark and not too overpowering the look. So it actually is my perfect everyday transition and outer corner shade. So I used it a ton this last month. So basically every time I wanted to do a neutral, cool tone, everyday look, I used Volatile. And I think I'm very close to hitting pen in this one too. So I think I will be hitting pen in it in the next month. Then Eccentric is maybe the shade that I like the least in this whole palette. It's just so incredibly warm toned and it just doesn't look good on me. So I kind of have to force myself to use it. But I think if I can use up everything else in this palette and I haven't hit pan in this one here, it would be okay for me because I just don't like a shade like this on me. The eyeshadow formula is perfectly fine. It is exactly the same as all the other ones in here, which is perfect and beautiful, but the color just doesn't look good on me. So I don't want to force myself to use it because I know, I just don't like it. Maybe I can hit pen in it in this whole year, but I don't know, maybe not. So maybe I just don't hit pen in this one and I hit pen in all the other ones. That's okay for me. So we will see what happens with this one, but I kind of don't want to force myself to use it more. Then the next one here is Passion and it's a beautiful burgundy outer corner shade for me. As mentioned before, I love pairing it with Love and with Wild Child. It also looks beautiful as a base for rose gold and some looks with the other more coppery and golden shades in here so this is actually a very beautiful eyeshadow and i love that it's in here i also have a pretty good dip in it going so maybe i can hit pan in it until the next update that would be pretty cool for the next month i think i want to focus on soul volatile and passion and i would love to hit pan in all three of them until then and then i also want to use up half of dreamer 
I want to hit side pen in wild child and side pen in celestial and in base and then maybe expand the pants and all the other shades so that's kind of what I'm going to work on in the next month I'm so excited for this project I can't tell you how amazing it is to see all this progress in an eyeshadow palette I have never used up an entire eyeshadow palette so it would be such an achievement to do it so that's my goal from now on I want to finish this whole palette until the end of the year and I really hope that I can do it it would be so awesome to just see like the first shadows begun so I think that would be a great motivation for the rest of the palette and I think so far we are on a pretty good way to achieving this so now I do have some clips for you with some looks that I created with this palette. If you want to see them, keep on watching. So in the first look, you can see me using the shade Volatile and my crease. And then I have some of the shimmer shades layered over each other on my lid. And on my outer corner, I have layered Celestial on top of, I think, Dazzling. Because Celestial by its own is a bit more on the sheer side. So I like layering it on top of other shimmer shades. And you can see it has this beautiful purple, purple color to it, but it's not too bright. So I think it's actually quite perfect for the outer corner. And then on the inner part of my lid, I have a Shady Glow single shadow that's called Hey Puppy. I've just recently bought it and it's such a beautiful golden shimmer. And you can see it in my latest haul video if you want to check it out. I will link it down below. And it's just such a beautiful color and the look is so beautiful. So what I love doing with this palette is using it as a base and then top it off with some other single shadows or just some other eyeshadows. So this is one of my basic looks that I did multiple times during the month. Then the next one is more like of a rosy look. I used love in my crease and then passion on my outer corner. Then I applied wild child all over my lid and then I topped it off with another shadow from a BH Cosmetics palette. It's more like a peachy pink with a gold shift and it's just a bit more metallic than the shades in here. So I love just pairing different shimmer and metallic shades with this palette. And it's such a beautiful rosy pinky look. I love it. And you can see on my lower lash line, I usually have Dazzling or Summer or both of them. It's just, it's so beautiful to have them on the lower lash and I love them so much for that and I use them all the time. And then in the third look you can see me using the shade Soul, so the periwinkle one on my outer corner. And you can see that it's quite dark on me. And then in my crease I do have Summer and Dazzling, so the two shimmery golden and copper metallics. And you can see how beautiful they add this this just this warmth and this shimmery warmth to it it's so so stunning as a transition shade and then i have a shade from my flower beauty Chang'e lights palette the light golden metallic all over my inner part of my mobile lid and also into my crease so the very light and bright golden metallic that you see is from the flower beauty Chang'e lights palette and i love it so so much so these are three looks that i did with this palette but there are so many more that I did in the last month, but I just couldn't film all of them. But I hope that you enjoyed seeing them. Let me know down below if that's something that you like see in these updates, because I don't have to include them, but I thought that you might like it. So, so just let me know down below if you enjoy it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss an update on this project. And also check out my other project pants that I have on my channel. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day.